right, how are you doing? So today we're going to make a fisherman's pie. We've made a cottage pie, a shepherd's pie. We've even made a chicken and bacon pie, haven't we, with potato. This is a fisherman's pie, which obviously means it has fish inside. Now, the fish that you use is entirely up to you. I've got shrimps or prawns in there and some sea bass, but you could use salmon. You could use a smoked fish like a haddock or something, cod. It's entirely up to you what you want to put in there. Nice cream sauce we're going to make with it. Potato on the top, pop it in the oven, voila. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got a tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon of thyme, some chopped flat leaf parsley, about three tablespoons of some Parmesan cheese. You could use a cheddar if you want. One cup of onions, 250 ml of cream. I'm using a thick cooking cream. You can use a single cream, i.e. a runny type cream or thick cream. It's not going to make any difference, really. Okay, the fish that I'm using today is sea bass. I've got about six, 650 grams of cubed filet there. Beautiful fish. Now, you don't have to use sea bass. You can use cod. You can use salmon. You can use a combination of all of them. It's up to you. You can even use like a smoked haddock or something like that, some sort of smoked fish if you want. And then here, shrimps or prawns. I've got 800 grams. Well, they were 800 grams when they were frozen. That's what it said on the packet. I've now put them into some cold water, rinsed them off. We're ready to go. This is super easy and delicious. So I've got my pan right here. I've got a little bit of olive oil in there. Medium heat. In goes that one cup of onion. That one tablespoon of garlic. And we're going to go just for three minutes on this medium heat. I'm going to get some salt in the mix and some black pepper. I'm then going to add that one teaspoon of thyme. Now, if you want, obviously, change the thyme, switch it out for something else. Maybe a bit of chili if you wanted, or rosemary, tarragon marjoram, basil, up to you. Gonna go in with our fish. Like I say, this is a sea bass filet. We're gonna go in with our prawns or shrimps, 800 grams. And when you see frozen prawns or shrimps, you'll often see something called IQF, which means instant, quick, frozen. Well, we're gonna cook this for four minutes. Keep it moving, I'll be back. Fabulous stuff. Now, don't worry if your fish is not cooked all the way through yet. We only went for four minutes then. We're still gonna be doing some cooking. So we're gonna go with cream now. Like I say, I've got 250 ml of a thick cream. You can use a thin or thick. We're going to turn the heat down to just above a simmer. We're going to drop in some cheese. I'm using Parmesan. You could, if you wanted, of course, use some cheddar or something like that. And then some chopped leaf parsley. We're going to stir this in and on, not a simmer, just above a simmer. I want us to go for another four minutes and this is done. It's beautiful and it's super easy. And just as our fish and shrimps in that lovely cream sauce are finishing off there, let's take a look at some mashed potato. I'm not going to go through the whole process of how to make mashed potato. I'm pretty sure that you know. But very quickly, get your potatoes, peel them, cut them into sort of chunks like that. Get it into some cold water with salt. Boil it until they're super soft, i.e. the knife goes in and comes out without the potato. Drain it off. Mash, mash, mash. Add some butter, add some black pepper, add some milk. Off you go. You've got some beautiful, creamy mashed potato. So I've now decanted our sauce into this oven-proof dish. I'm using glass. You can use metal or ceramic as well, as long as it can go in the oven. By the way, get your oven on nice and hot. We're going to cook this at about 2, 220. 
Right, in it goes. Now, I've got quite a lot of sauce there, which I'm happy about because it wants to put the potato on if it bubbles up a little bit. I love that. Okay, I'm going to get my potato, place it on there. We're ready for the oven, pretty much. So you saw me just put that potato on and I just sort of got those little peaks and troughs, little tours there with the fork. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese on the top of that. Now I'm fully aware that I've got a lot of liquid in that. I'm kind of happy with that. You might not be, you might want to put less of the liquid in more of just the fish because I do want it bubbling over. So you just saw me add some cheese there. That was a Parmesan again. Again, if you wanted, go for some cheddar. Dried thyme, which we added in to the sauce earlier, just as a bit of a signature on top. Okay, in the oven, 200, 220. Details are gonna be below. It's gonna go in my oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so 20 minutes in my oven that was lovely stuff you can see that it's i had a lot of liquid in it it's come up which i knew that was going to happen and i'm happy with that but yeah really delicious nice fish potato pie or fisherman's pie use any fish you like even like some smoked haddock like i said in there is really nice hope you enjoy that keep safe keep well i'll see you soon lots of love Hi, how you doing? Thanks so much for checking out our videos. Really, really do appreciate it. We're busy as ever. We're pumping out and pumping out some fantastic food. Well, we think it's fantastic. So Chef June's got his own channel now. Please check that out. He's doing great guns on there, all in Togalo. Some fantastic food he's making. Rahel's doing her Armaric channel, which has been going on for some years now, and she's doing great. But please check it out if you want to know about Ethiopian food, although it is all in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. Uh, the vegan channel is doing okay. Could do with a bit of help actually, so pop over there and uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We're doing fine. We're still here in Bahrain at the moment. It's very hot, as you could imagine. But yeah, happy as can be. Now, if you'd like to help the channel out, uh, you could uh, buy us a coffee, or there's a little link will pop up now maybe, or something will pop up or something. But yeah, if you want to support the channel, that would help us out a great deal. Really, really appreciate all of you send messages and follow us you know, on a regular basis. We love you all. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.